We had dirt bags. Today, me and Josh are gonna be installing rock lights on the Grizzly. I'm gonna show you how it's done. So, Auto Bureau sent me some rock lights, and we're gonna install their kit. Should be pretty simple, pretty uh, plug and play. Right off the bat, you can tell that these are pretty, uh, pretty high quality. And their kit's all plug and play, really easy to do. You see that in the video. Comes with a cool little remote, and it also has a mobile app you can download and change colors. And you got your wiring harness. And it comes with some bolts and screws to put the lights on. And zip ties. You know I use these. Gonna need them. Gonna need them, leave out them. No stickers though. No <laughs> stickers. Right off bat, nine out of ten. Yeah, send it back. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Guys, well, before we get started on this how-to video, I need to give you guys a heads up. My quiet is a little bit different than yours, probably. So to get out, to get at my battery, I need to get under my snorkels and I need to get under my uh, rad relocation kit. Ends up being a hard, uh, not hard, but just a lot of work to get do anything on the battery. So when I uh, first my snorkels, we ran these awesome extenders right here. So there is power on these right now, and I'm gonna put the the rock lights right to uh, to this and have my switch in this box, and should work perfectly. But for you guys. You're gonna be uh, attaching your red wire to your positive terminal and your black wire to your negative terminal on your battery and it will work the same thing as mine. But it's just gonna look a little bit different on the video doing it, okay? How to install your rock lights. Let's get to it. You're gonna find out where under your bike you're gonna want your rock lights to shine down. And you're gonna put them on the top side just so you can get a marker and you can mark right where you want your holes, and then you can take your little drill bit and drill holes for your screws. Once you guys got your holes pre-drilled and your light put up, you can tighten up the little nuts with another seven socket. There you guys have it, the first light's installed, and we're gonna jump over that side and install the next one. Since I got the first light, just to show you guys how it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and install the other three lights on my quad.
All right, boys, we got um, the four lights there mounted. And uh, Josh just ran the, the wiring for these two underneath. It's not uh, cleaned up yet, but they're up there. So what we've done is we just actually, uh, so from our harness, it's gonna go power here and power's gonna jump from this light to that light, okay? And same thing for front, we got them jumped together and there's gonna be actually a separate wire from the, the battery that goes to uh, the front lights. You guys will see how it works uh, once we hook them up. We just uh, finished installing the lights, clean them all up, make them look nice and uh, somewhat pretty under there. And we're just gonna connect it to our battery terminals. So again, guys, uh, mine's different from yours, good chance. You guys will be doing your connection up here on your battery, unless you have connectors like myself. It's the same thing. So for me, I got my switch uh, in my glove box there, center console, and uh, I'll be able to turn on my lights from there and whatnot. In a minute, we're gonna tighten up these guys, get some tape around them, and I'll show you the lights in the dark. Woo! Look at those boys. I'll be real man. Me and old Josh over there, we are actually impressed over the quality and the capability of the light. Um, it's really easy to do, that's what I was trying to say. Anyone could do it. Um, their kit is plug and play. You just gotta put it to your battery and then just follow the wires and drill some holes in your quad. But that's minor stuff, man. And the good thing is, I'm gonna have a link to this kit in my description of the video, along with 20% off. I have a 20% off code. Uh, use it. It's on Amazon, so it's cool. It only takes a couple days to get to you. I think it took me five days. So that's pretty good here on Newfoundland. Let me know in the comments if you guys order some because honestly, it's probably by far the best rock lights I've seen. It'd be really cool on like even your car. Uh, I think Josh is gonna put it in his bathroom there around the tub. Man, it's pretty cool, you know? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.